welcome to a rather exciting video and in this video I'll show you how you can make this kind of headshot effect inside of unity so I'm kind of excited for this and this is what we are going to be ending up in the end of this video so this is what we are going to be building in this video we are going to build this simple headshot effect so if I shoot this player in the head the head should actually take some of the energy of the bullet so it's kind of more realistic so here is what happens it kind of goes uh, sideways and to show you that it actually goes into any direction here it is I will try it again and this time I will shoot it from the other side so here we go and one bonus effect that this gives is that you can shoot him while he is kind of dead and you can push him around and I've been having a little too much fun with this by increasing the force of this to a crazy number so here's what happens if you give it too much force it just pushes the body flying okay so let's take a look at how we can build this so in the last video I showed you how you can build the ragdoll physics and here is how it basically works so I couldn't get it to receive collision while having the ragdoll physics on and if you try to enable the ragdoll physics it is automatically going to add in a character joint and a rigid body. So the problem with that was that the rigid body should have a kinematic disabled. So I'm too lazy to go and disable in all of these so I made a script for that and uh, we'll take a look at that in just a second. And the next thing that I did is I increased the drag a little bit so it looks a little bit more realistic and then I added a receive damage script. So this I built in the previous episodes of this series and this is the script. So if anyone is interested in how the code works is is actually very simple first I find every single rigid body that is in the game then I filter this rigid body using a list because lists are obviously stretchable so you can add or remove elements and then what I do with that I loop through this array I find all the rigid bodies that are inside this root so if rigid body root is equal to the transform then we know it's the rigid body that belongs to this AI. So then what we do with it is we add it obviously to a list. After adding it to a list, I am enabling kinematic in here. And after kinematic is enabled, I am changing the drag. So the drag, you can just hard code it to one because one works perfectly fine for me. And then after you do that, you need a some kind of a die function. So first I receive the damage if the damage was head, limp or body. So if the damage was head, we set the health, we check the health if the health is below zero and then we just die or we tell the object to die, whatever, the same. So in here what we do is be very careful to disable these and after you disable this, you can go ahead and enable the kinematic right here. Or actually disable that as well so what do you, so what we do in here is first we disable the animator then we disable the character controller and the agent as well and then we go through the, the loop and we disable the kinematic function of the rigid body so that is how simple it is to add that headshot effect and if you're wondering how you can add in the weighted bullet effect it is actually added over into the weapons controller so it is right here if you have this template you can download it down in the video description so here's the template we have our rifle each and every rifle should have a force right here and the force is applied when we check the hit so we cast the ray we check the hit and after we deal the damage we check for the rigid body after we do that, we add some force to the rigid body. So here is the code. You can just copy and paste it. And uh, what we're going to do now is demonstrate one more time how this works. And I will even do it into this view so you can view it best. So here it is. Enjoy. And here it is one more time with 
more power or force. Okay, so thank you. Uh, okay, my character is walking a little bit funny. I shall fix that. So thank you for watching. Uh, I will be keeping you updated with this series. I hope we can actually finish this one. I really like it. I'm really enjoying it as the character just flies off into the distance. And uh, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.